Hello, Rancho Films. Hello, Rancho Films. Hello, Rancho Films. Hello, Rancho Films. Well, we are at day two now, and as you can see, we're waiting for a panel. Um, we're waiting for the voice acting panel, which is going to have John St. John. I'm pretty excited. What do you think, Timmy? That's it? It's going to be great. Timmy's I'm excited. No, Travis is really sleepy. Then. This is what excites me, though. What excites you? I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of excited for the Angry Video Game Nerd. That's, that's my big thing. That and the no, no, Nobu Matsu tonight. What? We're going to go see Nobu Matsu tonight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, I can't go wrong there. I need to get my Final Fantasy sign. Yeah, I need to get my Virtual Boy sign. And Travis, he's not having fun at all. This is what happens when you stay up all night. Who has the Kirby rings up? Me. That is badass. Thank you. Welcome to the voice, video game voice acting panel. Before we start off, it's early today. It might as well be six in the morning, being here it's noon at MAGFest. <laughs> so what I'd like to do is start everybody getting your blood moving by giving us one big Colossus roar on three. Ready? One, two, three. For a couple of hours so what we'd like to do is we will introduce ourselves give you a little idea of who we are and then we will open it up for questions we hope that you have some very intense very personal questions for us today so we're going to start at the end of the table with a man who needs no introduction at magfest and yet he's going to introduce himself i am drunky crow <laughs> uh hi i'm John St. John, voice actor, blah, blah, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault I drink too much, fall on out! <laughs> it's great, you know, you know the, 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 when you get up in the morning and you, you get out into your living room and you see the mugs half full of beer with cigarette butts in them? That's what this guy That's smells like right drinking. now. <laughs> I'm John Patrick Lowry, uh, voice of the sniper in Team Fortress 2, uh, Halo Reach, Halo ODST, Infamous, uh, lots of video games. I'm Ellen McLean, the voice of GLaDOS. so I can listen to something that I did as Vorticia, Queen of the Vortal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, I'm, I'm Sherry Ellinger, and um, Is that I... on? Hello? And I'm not hungover. <laughs> <laughs> but the day's young, so well, I'm hopeful. Why are you not hungover? We'll take care of that! Well, thank you. <laughs> don't you encourage that! You, you can't, don't do it to her! It's not fair! <laughs> You and me, later. All right. Um, I, am, I am the voice of um, Star Paladin Cross in Fallout 3. Beatrice um, the Boar. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> um, also, I've done voices on Star Trek, The Morrowind, and um, a variety of other ones. And, uh, My name is Wes Johnson, and I... Uh, Woo! Uh, Wes Johnson, you're right, that's the official name. Uh, I play characters like Shia Dorath, and that means cheese for everyone! <laughs> also, uh, Lucy and Chance, and I'd like to wish all of you into the dark brotherhood, dear child. <laughs> 
have said this. <laughs> a few other things, uh, Fox and Fallout 3, Mr. Berg, some of the sentry bots and the Tetrons, blah, 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 and thank you for having me. Thank you, Wes. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Is that all? Um, hi, I'm Mike Rawson. I've been fortunate enough to be involved in a couple of Star Trek games and all over the Fallout 3 as a couple of different ghouls. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, my name is Chris Neosi. Um, most of you guys probably know me as Curbifer online, if you know who I am at all. Uh, I've been doing voiceover professionally for about two years. Primarily I'm an animator. I do a lot of cartoons on the internet, newgrounds.com and things. Uh, I got my start on an anime based on a very popular video game, good old Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> I'm based out of New York where they record the show, played a character named Corey, whose existence was to make you buy hard gold and soul silver, which I'm sure you all did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, since then, um, I've, in terms of video games, I've done a lot of independent ones and like PC games. I was uh, Detective Mikolaj Gursky in Jisei and Kansai, which are these like detective like murder mystery games. I played the final boss in a game called Hunter Relative Stars, Alcoa, um, I'm in one called Rocketeer, which is coming out soon. Uh, other things I can't talk about. Um, I, and I'm also doing character animation on uh, Skull Girls, which I think is coming out very soon. So uh, check that out. Yeah, yeah that's super. Cool. Hi, everybody. My name is Craig Seckler. I've been a voice actor for over 50 years. I was the voice of Butch Deloria in Fallout 3. I was the voice of the elves in Oblivion Elder Scrolls. And my most. <laughs> and uh, the role that I'm noted for. No, I'm notorious for is I was the voice of the adoring fan. <laughs> just, just a quick warning to you folks here. Anybody in this room who has killed the adoring fan uh, while playing? I killed him because he didn't give me a back rub. Well, that might happen still today, sir. I don't but remember that. <laughs> Just a warning that if you actually kill him today in real life, there will be very real, very legal consequences. <laughs> mentioned before Mel Blanc. Who are all of your personal heroes? Or Mel who Blanc. do you look up to? <laughs> it doesn't have to be from the voice actor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Start at the end down there. By the way, if anybody here is with technical, poor John is having to lean all the way across the table in a wretched state to get his but, microphone. But that's not even the real deal. The real deal is my biggest pet peeve in this voice industry is shitty microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Does this one work? This is a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm hungover. I should have to yell for you to hear me. <laughs> Can I get some gain? On Where's the mixer? <laughs> Who's near it? Just check who the box with this thing. Who, who checked these mics before this program? No, Who's the audio guy? Come on. Come on, fucking balls up. Who's the who's the guy? Who is it you? Uh, Here it is. I wasn't gonna set it up, but I'll fix it. Alright, well whoever did you fucked me at this end of the tube. <laughs> check, check, come on, siblings. Check, check. <laughs> Come on, jack it up, damn it. <laughs> I'm hungover and I don't like yelling. John, John, John's answer to the question is whoever is going to make the microphone not suck, that's his personal hero. <laughs> Come on, a little more. Bring it up. Thank you. Don't push it. A little more. Come on, dude. Bring it up. Wow. Thank you. Stop. Too much. There. <laughs> Lower. Dude, you just saved me. Thank you. Wow, I've got pipes again. <laughs> All right. In a world, in a land before time. Okay, you got it. That's good. What was your question? <laughs> and incidentally, my hangover just ended. Okay? I feel pretty good now. What was your question? Who asked that question? What the hell was your question? In this industry. Mel Blank. I actually have two. There are two people who, who really influenced me a great deal. That was uh, Mel Blanc and Lonnie Manella, who is a uh, top casting director, got me involved in most of the games I'm in, and she's an incredible, incredible voice actor herself. 
she's just a little nutty. Yeah, I'd have to go with Mel Blanc too. That's uh, that's how I started. Uh, I think that uh, you know, I heard a lot of voice acting when I was young, but you always, I mean, Mel Blanc was so distinctive and so uh, so versatile that uh, he just blew me away. So yeah. Meryl Streep, Helen Mirren, Judy Dench. I had never met him before today, but I think it's John St. John after that last time. <laughs> now I know it is. And now you all... That wasn't my microphone. <laughs> and, and now you all know exactly what to say later this evening when John comes around to your room. Um, yeah, Mel Blanc for me, I mean, this is the guy who, in lieu of getting a raise at one point, knew that they weren't going to give him a raise and said, just give me a credit on the cartoons. Before that, you didn't know who any of the voices were in any of the cartoons. And Mel Blanc said, okay, give me a credit. It was the smartest thing he ever did because once that happened and once people realized that he was the one who voiced all those characters for the Warner Brothers cartoons and all the Looney Tunes, everybody in radio and industry, uh, it, it, Jack Benny started using him on his radio show. He opened up a whole new world for voice actors and animation actors, so we all owe him a debt. And in regard to just announcing, John used a little bit of his voice earlier, Don LaFontaine. One room held strong. That, everybody knows his voice, and uh, you know, I don't think anybody can still hold a candle to him today. Uh, Mel Blanc's definitely one of mine, and, and the uh, uh, contemporary to that era, Don Messick, and Dawes Butler, and June Foray, and uh, B. Bennett Derrick. Um, and besides voice actors, uh, some of my heroes are Don Knotts, Jack Benny, and George Carlin. Do your Don Knotts, wait a minute. This guy, everybody here know who Don Knotts? You know Don Knotts? This guy does the best Don Knotts ever. I used to work with Wolfman Jack on his live radio show, and I brought uh, Mike Rossin in to come with him one day, and he started doing live on the air his Don Knotts impression, and they had a, a live conversation. It was the funniest thing you'd ever want to hear. And Wolfman was like, hey, I love this guy. This guy's great, baby. So let's hear it, let's hear it. Well, I met Mr. Knotts down at the buck sign, you know. Yeah. Oh, I am hammer just like that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll echo George Carlin, who was mentioned a second ago, because I, uh, I grew up listening to him because of Thomas the Tank Engine, of all things. <laughs> Which, uh, which, my, which my dad was just blown away by, like, they got him to do this show. Really, how did that even work? That's only because Ringo Starr was quitting. Oh, no. Yeah, I miss Ringo. He was great, too. Um, uh, other first voice over here, I was, yeah, definitely Mel Blanc. And, you know what? Somebody who I feel is almost kind of like the Mel Blanc in video games, and maybe some of you Seattle folk have worked with him before, uh, Charles Martinet. Uh, who is just the incredible guy behind all, I, I call the plumbers in the uh, Super Mario games. Like, he, I don't know how he does it, he's just incredible. I love his characterizations for all of, all of the, the plumber characters. Uh, and, and even in the, the other, I think he was in Skyrim too, as, as a character I was just told this weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, he's a big one. Uh, Mark Thompson is a guy from New York. You've heard him on Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! in like probably every episode. He's amazing. Uh, too many, too many. Uh, Dan Green, really, really great guy. Uh, wonderful human being as well. Uh, yeah, too many. Uh, all of them, they're all great. I forgot one from back in the day, a voice everyone knows, but you may not know who it is, Paul Freeze. Yeah. Yeah. Voice yeah. Yeah. Back the yeah, back then. Great. Was he, also, was he, was he Pete Puma in Looney Tunes, Paul Freeze? No? Okay, because I thought I might have met him. Paul Fries was fantastic. Um, let's talk about voice acting. I listen to old time radio. Uh, you guys are just geeky enough, you might actually get into it. Um, but now that I've called you geeks, I have to say this. I've never been so impressed with an audience in my entire life. You 